Hi guys, it's May 14th, um, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you moms out there. Um, thank you for being a mom. Thank you for giving us your kids so that we can teach them about Jesus. Today we are um, continuing our story in the book of Acts. And in this story, there is a man named Cornelius who is a, a Roman centurion who lives in Caesarea, and um, he has a vision. And in this vision, he is told to call for a man named Simon Peter. Um, um, so he does. And then Simon um, Peter has a vision as well, and is told in this vision that there will be three men come get you, go with them, and do what they need you to do. And so um, Peter listens as well when um, Simon sent for him and follows uh, the centurion's men to Caesarea and is called into the king's court. And when he gets there, Simon has a, f a really neat um, way to express to everybody what he is experiencing then. And I love Peter in this way. And it says that I most certainly understand, I'm in Acts chapter 10, verse 34 and 35, I most certainly understand now that God is not one to show partiality, but in every nation the man who fears him and does what is right is welcome to him. So I feel like you guys kind of need to understand. The um, centurion was a Gentile. Gentiles had no relationship with the Jewish people. Not necessarily from their perspective, but maybe. Um, but definitely from the Jews' perspective because they were not clean. They had not been circumcised, so they did not have relationship with Gentiles. And so for Peter to show up and say, Oh, well, maybe God has things in store for people other than us Jews was a really big deal for Peter to acknowledge. And then also that the centurion was willing to just have him come in and tell anybody about Jesus was a big deal as well. So Peter, as in his boldness, continues to tell them about Jesus. And then it says at the end of the chapter that the Holy Spirit fell on everyone that was there. And that they were able to see that because the... Um, They were speaking in tongues and exalting God, it says in verse 46. So everybody around could not question what had happened, that the Holy Spirit really had fallen on these people and that they had understood that Jesus was the Savior sent to save them. Um, our bottom line this week is that we keep going even when the job is bigger than you think it's going to be. I know I always get into a job thinking, oh, I, I can do this and it's just going to take me an hour. And most times that's a day and then some, <laughs> maybe because they make it bigger than it's supposed to be. But it, nonetheless, it becomes a bigger job. And um, this job definitely became bigger for for Peter and ultimately God showed up and um, took care of it and showed Peter that that he's taking care of it. Um, so I love that example for the kids. Uh, in your K through two groups today, you um, every week you're going to have this some different items in your basket. That's to to play a stacking minute to win it type of game. However you guys want to play that. The kids love to stack cups. They they like to um, play different minute to win it games. So I encourage you to do that to kind of get to know your kids a little bit better. You'll also have a bag of cereal that looks like this. Um, we use cereal because it was cheaper than buying everybody a bunch of pom-poms. Anyway, so in the cereal bag, there's also this pom-pom ball right here. In, in the bag. And on the bag, there will be an X marked in one corner and a star in the other corner. At the X is where you want to start the pom-pom ball. And the kids are supposed to take the pom-pom um, ball and push it through all the cereal, which you can see is not an easy task, um, to get it from one, point A to point B, which is kind of like a maze. They get to take this home. I would encourage kids not to eat it unless you know that um, we've cleared food allergy issues with mom and dad. 
Um, but they can they can take all this home. Um, encourage them to keep it closed so that they can take it home and show mom all about the cereal. Then um, your memory verse activity, you have um, exercise bands. There are long yellow band in your basket. Um, we're just trying to give kids a picture of what it might be to to go and go the extra mile, do a little extra. So you could do um, wall squats, you could do push-ups, you could do sit-ups, you could do anything. You can use the exercise band and have one kid on each side hold the exercise band. I would be very careful and make sure that um, kids know that if they let go, that could hurt somebody really bad and we don't want that to happen. So pick the kids that you know will not purposely let go so that they will hurt somebody else. And so they'll stand with the exercise band and they're supposed to pull as far as they can um, until, until they feel like they can't pu pull any further. And our memory verse this month is, um, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Leader, don't give up. You're doing good things. Your, your kids are learning and growing, and we're seeing new people come every week. This, um, the week after Easter, we had 10 new families come back and register their kids, and that's been a, a common trend lately. And so don't give up. You're doing good things. Parents are noticing that their kids are learning stories. And um, I am so appreciative for the time and energy you give to each kid. You'll have a prayer time with your kids, and then remember you have your God times. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.